Peggy 18. One of the things that we like about our Central fans is they're very creative. Well, Maurice, our community manager, came to us with this idea about opening up a contest to get fans involved in creating costume design for use in Saints Row. We know that our fans are really into cosplay. His idea was to sort of turn that around and we would make basically their cosplay costumes and put them in the game. So we had a, a community challenge, just opened it up. One of the things that really drew us to the two winners that we selected um, is that they were unique costumes, but yet they still had touched on the Saints Row universe. Hi, my name's Justin Miller. I'm a character artist here at Volition. I worked on the Freckle Bitches cosplay outfit uh, designed by Emmy. There was a restaurant plutôt drôle called Freckle Bitches, and I thought it would be cool to bring a little bit of nostalgia for the players. You know, a lot of people just like as much as they miss socks, they miss Freckle Bitches. 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 They miss Fre there's a little pendant hanging down off of her um, belt. You can see like all the little pepperonis and the cheese bubbling and it's all represented, but you know, when you look in the final one, it's like shrunk down. She was really enthusiastic and I think it really came through in the concept. It's really original, really creative stuff. Ride it hard! My name is Eric Barrios. I'm the lead character artist of Saints Row 4. I worked on the Pinky Space Pit. I love how we've got the head on one side and the tail coming out the other. The inspiration for my entry came from some of the elements of Saints Row 3 that I felt were missing in Saints Row 4. The cool pimpin' style of Zemos and the spacesuit outfit that comes from the Mars expansion and definitely Professor Genki. I wanted to just mash all of those elements together. Um, not only did he have a really cool idea, but he also drew it in, in three different perspectives. You know, if you just show one perspective, we can make that, but we'd have to sort of guess as to what, what's in, in the back. But he had the accessories and all of the other pieces that were really well thought out. I chose to keep the piece uh, aesthetically as close to the concept that we got as possible instead of doing anything that would make the person who won the contest look at it and be like, this isn't how I drew it. I'm pretty happy with our end results because if you look at them side by side, the concept versus the final art we did, it's almost one to one. It made me particularly happy because we saw that the mission took care of the demands of the fans. I love you know, seeing the community fan art and this is a way of bringing that into the game and just you know, rewarding the fans. It's free and we're just really excited to provide this content to our, to our loyal fans.